creeping with his Torrent Chieftain, who will be two and a half pretty soon, almost three, and that uh, the reason if you're Orc you want to get Torn Chieftain is because one, his aura is very good in uh, running in to the Night Elf's army quickly and uh, getting a good position, but also because of Shockwave, that devastating Shockwave uh, that does so much damage. And because of Shockwave, if you're a Night Elf, you want to get a Scroll of Healing, which uh, basically neutralizes, cancels out the damage that the Shockwave does. Uh, 150 life to all units, that's very good. Looks like Lin did put up an Expo, so we're going to see uh, uh, a better economy for Lin once this goes down. But it does take a while to build. Uh, I want to say about 120 seconds, around 2 minutes, but I'm not positive on the timing there. It looks like he is getting remind is getting master training so we will see that cyclone be usable pretty soon here still popping out dots and the thing about this strategy is that it you it's really easy on your economy actually you're able to pump out a lot of units and the one thing that well I'll get back to this later but it looks like we've got Lin coming at uh pushing at Remind's base. Looks like he's going to take down this Ancient Wonder. It doesn't look like... Ooh. Looks like Remind canceled Lin's Expo, but he got caught up here, and it looks like he's not going to be able to TP to his base for a little bit. He's going to finish this creep off for whatever reason, and then he's going to TP, and it looks like uh, Torn Chieftain and all these units are just going to speed scroll away, so very good play there for Lin. He took... Uh, he took an Ancient of Wonders and another TP, so that's two TPs already for Remind. That's uh, 700 gold for those of you mathematicians. So, not so good for Remind. 700 gold, that could be five-ish. Uh, Druid of the Talons, four or five. So, Remind kind of has to be more wary, has to uh, stay closer to his base, be more aware, have, probably have more scouts here out on the map, have Wisp lying around here earlier. But I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Um, geez, sorry about that. But it looks like Lin is going to be uh, creeping this uh, these Murlocs right below his base. And for once, the Demon Hunter is going to be harassing. But I don't know if that's such a good idea just because of that. And you see that right there. Lin's kind of giving him a warning with that one that, like, hey, you better not. And it looks like Tinker is now out. Oh, I, I just remembered what I was going to say, but now I can't say it again because we've got some action going on here. Looks like one grunt will go down. This uh, Blade Master just cycloned and the dots ran away in fear. And it looks like this raider will lo live to net another day. Um, what I was going to say earlier on, way early, and you can see how that fairy fire allows him to see that Blade Master wind walk. Anyway, um, normally in the with using the strategy... Uh, you normally take your Demon Hunter and your Beastmaster over to harass and probably uh, kill off some burrows. Not kill off, uh, burrows aren't allowed to begin with, but destroy burrows. And in that way, hindering the food count and maybe even getting a supply block on the other player where they cannot produce any units. But we didn't see that from Remind, probably because he was under pressure from this Blade Master early on. And it looks like he did get a Tinker uh, a minute or two ago. And the reason you get Tinker, Moon once explained it as uh, you have all these range, ranged units, but you don't have anything up front to tank for it. And this Pocket Factory actually acts as like a wall um, to help protect your units. But also, another thing, with this Fairy Fire, this minus four armor right here, these these clockwork goblins do so much more damage and it's just a deadly combination it looks like this demon hunter getting heavily focused and you can see how deadly that shockwave is it looks like he will be using a scroll of healing pretty soon here and th these you can see these units just up in the air all the time just cyclone that's that's what's uh so devastating about cyclone and it looks like the scroll of healing did go down but i believe it was from a different hero and so many units in the air right now and i don't think Lin has enough spirit walkers to deal with this um, and once again the demon hunter getting focused if you're an orc when in doubt focus the demon hunter and it looks like he's now going for all these but 
uh, another scroll of healing goes down and these uh, these heroes just in the air cannot do anything and Lin losing so many units there goes down another raider and looks like he's being pushed back and I don't know if this expo is going to go up remind will be able to push Lin out of here and will be able to cancel this expo once again so and that canceling he loses quite a bit of gold so that's about uh, teepee's worth of gold he's lost so far in canceling his expo twice and it looks like remind could just pick this off right now but he probably doesn't decide to he's probably going to get some scrolls of healing there but good positioning good uh, push right there by remind um, it's very important to keep your to keep your opponent on as many mines or less mines than you have because you obviously don't want him to have more gold than you and it looks like more dots will be being pumped out uh, all game and it looks like pillage will be um, pillage will be teched so whenever a raider or a grunt hits a building even a peon but I don't know why he, to pillage applies to peons that always made me wonder whenever they hit a building they will get gold and that adds up a lot over time it looks like the ancient of war will go down he does have a scroll of speed but reminds grown uh, grown uh, wise about this fool me once shame on you no wait let me think about this fool me once shame on me fool me twice okay never mind I quit <laughs> but anyway <laughs> it looks like Lin will be speed scrolling away so he did fool him twice that's shame on remind okay I finally got it right but anyway a tree of life going down here so he will bring this over to expo here being pretty sneaky about it and it looks like it looks like uh, remind just chasing Lin here nothing really happening I believe Lin's just trying to get a good position or just running away. Very scared. This raider very low. Um, these these dots might be able to cycle on something and pick it off, but it looks like um, no. Lin's uh, too quick here, especially with this aura, which is another benefit of the aura, is that you can run away from your opponent faster. And no expos yet for any of these players, which is pr pretty odd on this small of a map. Echo Isles, but it looks like Remind will have one pretty soon here. And uh, going to the shop, did he buy anything? I don't believe so. But it looks like this could be the final clash here. Um, just a pure Raider and Spirit Walker composition. No grunts, no anything else for uh, Lin here. And it looks like this uh, BM will be spotted by this Hawk here, but instantly is nutted. Uh, take